number one overall national seed upcoming FCS playoffs. Our Gamecocks from Jacksonville State. Congratulations, John Gross. I know it's not a surprise, but when there's a human element involved, you never know what's going to happen. But but congrats on that. Well, yeah, you think it's going to happen, but you don't know. You know, until until it's done, it's put on the screen, the bracket set. So, you know, we're excited to be the number one seed, which means that we get to play at home throughout the playoffs, and uh, I think that's a huge advantage. And you know, being all open uh, this next week and get everybody healed up, and you know, get a little rest going in, I think is a big thing too. So uh, I think it's uh, you know accomplishment these guys wanted to get back to this point in time. And, you know, you had to get over all those hurdles to be sitting where we wanted to sit with the opportunity we have in front of us. So we're excited about it. All right. You either get Chattanooga or Fordham. It would be a second time with Chattanooga this year. Your thoughts on the bracket? Well, we've talked about it, you know, and I think we learned that lesson last year. Uh, it don't matter who you play. They're going to be a really good team. So, you know, it's all about how we play. Uh, we, we're going to keep the same mentality. We start a, start a new season, and, and we're 0-0, and, and we're going to game one. And really don't matter if it's uh, Chattanooga or Fordham. Uh, it's all about how we play and how we handle our business. And we're going to work really hard on that this week and look for things that we can, you know, improve on that we're doing well and things that we can fix that we're, we're not doing so well. So I think uh, either one of those is going to be a really good football team. I think Fordham's got a good program there you know consistently uh you know make the playoffs and do well in the playoffs and uh you know coach blackwell has a lot of you know experience with them because he was there for two years not too long ago and uh chattanooga we're very familiar with so i think it helps a little bit to have some familiarity with the folks that you're you're going to be playing so uh, i know that's going to be a good football game and like i said we'll sit back and, and see who it is all right your seniors 30 of them have really led this team this year um, bad taste, I guess, the best way to put it from a, a season ago, the way the playoffs ended in that one here at home. And that's been uh, between the seniors and that. That's really what has, I guess, fueled you in that drive this year. Isn't it? No doubt. They're, just, they're hungry. I mean, it's kind of like you sit down to, to dinner and, you know, you, you fix to eat a big old steak and you get you get it set down there and you get to take a bite of it and they take it away from you. So, I mean, this bunch is – they're they're hungry. They, they want to play a lot more football. And uh, that's the thing I've seen, the drive that they've had, you know, since January. January and uh, they're, they're like I said, just proud of them. Uh, you know, they're they're definitely not satisfied, but proud to you know, all the work that's went into getting us to this point and be the number one team in the country and get the number one seed is uh, I think huge just for a university in general. But uh, you know, we got some unfinished business. We gotta we gotta you know take it and uh, look at this game one and and get ready to play. Open date this week. I know that's big. You got some guys beat up and banged up, so that helps in the standpoint that you've got a week off and won't play till December five now. Uh, no doubt. I mean that's 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 big. You know we didn't have any major injuries yesterday, but uh, we got some guys that are banged up and some guys that we held yesterday that we uh, we'll get back in that game and uh, we're going in about as healthy as we can go in. All right, Thanksgiving week. Um, no school, nothing going on. Well, no game this week too. What's your approach to practice schedule? How are you going to handle this open day there? Well, we'll get us, uh, you know, we'll get some rest in for sure. We'll get us three really good practices in. We'll get Turkey Day off, of course, and uh, like I said, guys can get, you know, caught up a little bit on the sleep, and uh, you know, they'll be preparing. Uh, yeah, I know we already got our, you know, uh, tutoring session set up. You know, mm -hmm. academically, we'll do some of that on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and uh, we'll get everybody out of here for Thanksgiving, and then get them back in, and you know, get ready to go on the week. Weekend. It's fun right now, isn't it? It really is. I mean, it's good just to you know catch your breath a little bit, get a little rest, and uh, you know kind of dissect where you are. And, and like I said, just uh, the excitement of our guys, you know, just you know for the playoffs and nothing like these FCS yeah. playoffs. It's, it's a lot of fun. I think it brings a lot of excitement. So you know, we're looking forward to it. Dawson Wells, congratulations. How does it feel to be the number one national seed? Uh, it's great. I mean, we deserve it. We uh we went out in our conference again, so. Uh, I think I think we deserved it, and I know we'll be ready to play. We uh, especially Chat Chattanooga. We'll definitely be ready to play them again if they win, and then Fordham. That's where uh, Coach Blackwell's from. So, I thought either way, I think it's going to be a, a fun ride. Well, the selection show, being on television, getting all that love. How was that for you and the guys? Oh, it was great. You know, we got, we got some guys who like to act the fool on television, <laughs> so they they got their shine on that, and uh, it was great. We, we we got the exposure that we wanted. So you welcome Chattanooga possibly for a second time, or if it's Fordham, doesn't really matter who you play. Uh, no, it don't matter. Ch Chat will be coming here, so we will definitely like that since we went up there two years in a row. And uh, just the home field advantage, uh, we're, we're gonna love that in front of our home fans. 
Coach Gross has talked about this quite a bit, but losing last year here in the, the second round, that's really, I guess, helped fuel this drive this year. It left a bitter taste in, in the mouths of uh, the team from a season ago, right? Yeah, we're um, – that – we, we hated how we ended last year, and that, that's what's kept us focused through this whole season. And that's why we, we ended uh, last year against SEMO pretty bad in the regular season. Not, not, that was our worst game defensively. And then uh, we ended yesterday, or this season this year, with you know one of our right. best shows on defense. So uh, you can tell we're still focused, we're still hungry. And uh, as long as we do that, and uh, I think we'll be fine. All right, you mentioned the the Murray State game to wrap up the season, a career high eleven tackles. You got to spoil, man, but no pick sixes in that yeah. one. Uh, yeah, no pick sixes. Uh, I need I needed a, a game with a lot of tackles, and I think I ended up lead, leading the team in tackles and uh, interceptions. So it was a good way to end the uh, end the season and a senior night. Was it a emotional day on senior day for you, going out there before kickoff and all the pregame festivities? Um, I, it wasn't too emotional because I know we still got planned on three more home games. So it, it, I know it was a uh, last regular season home game, last time I'll play anybody in our conference, but um, it wasn't too emotional. We're, we're ready for the playoffs. All right, congrats. Here we go. Yep, thank you. Jacksonville State, again, playing either Chattanooga Fordham first, uh, excuse me, second round of the FCS playoffs after getting the first round by Eli Jenkins, number one overall national seed. Uh, your thoughts, your reaction, did it surprise you? Uh, it really didn't surprise me. You know, we we worked hard for this uh, for this position, and, you know, we were satisfied uh, with, the, with the results we got. Now it's just time to play ball. Chattanooga, possibly for a second time, or Fordham, what do you think about that? Yeah, uh, two good teams. You know, we are uh, looking forward to playing either one of them. You know, Chattanooga, you know, we, we play them a lot. We, I think we play them every year maybe. Uh, and just to play them a second time in one year, it'll be a, it'll be a great game. I, I believe it'll be a pack house and, you know, a great game to play. Is the, the feeling any different this time as you think about the playoffs than it was two years ago in 2013 or last year? Uh, Two years ago, you know, we we didn't even know if we was gonna make it make it in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, and then last year we we got in and we came up short. You know, this year we just hungry. We are uh, we're ready to play. You know, these guys, you know, we we prepared well all season and these guys are are ready. I, I I can't say that I wish we was playing this week uh, this week coming up, but I know once we get on that uh get on that field, it's all it's all go. Well, you've talked about it before, Coach Cross, some of the guys, bad taste left from last year, and you want to erase that, don't you? I definitely want to erase that. You know, that was a, a terrible feeling walking off that field, knowing that, you know, you you might have been a better team on the, on the field. You know, a couple of players here, a couple of players there that, you know, lost you the game, and it's it's crazy. And I, I don't want to feel like that anymore. You know, that was a, that was the worst feeling of my life. One thing from the Murray State game, 65-yard touchdown run, where you tried to show LeMay that you could get down the field as quick as he could. Yeah, I, you know, I had to show the team because they was trying me. They kept saying that LeMay was faster than me, and he's not faster than me. Well, yeah, so I just – I was about to slide too. But then I, I kind of was like, you know what, I'm going to just show them that I still got it. And, I, you know, I still got it. Congrats, son. Here we go. Best of luck in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. As Jacksonville State gets ready for the playoffs, one of the newcomers on the squad, his first go around here, and that's why he's smiling. Joel McCandless, Jacksonville State linebacker. All right, Eli, Dawson Wells, Barge is walking by behind us here. All those guys been through it before. Your first time, what's your feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling calm. Uh, we've been on this road so long, and it feels normal. It feels like this is what's supposed to happen. We're prepared for this moment, so it's not too big to us. The, the love you got from television, being the number one overall national seed, as you smile, how did that make you feel to be a part of that? Uh, it made me feel uh, tremendous, actually. Coming from a junior college, really small in Mississippi, no one knowing who we are us as a team, and then coming up to Jacksonville State and being a part of the organization this big, it's amazing. It's a feeling that I really can't describe. You sound like you'd ready to go play today or tomorrow or something if you had to. Go today. We can go today right now if they really wanted to. I don't think Coach Gross and the staff wants to do that. Uh, possible rematch uh, uh, with Chattanooga, second meeting this year, or Fordham. Your thoughts on playing either one of them? Uh, it doesn't matter. With the coaching staff that we have, the, the, the preparation that we're going to put in, it doesn't matter. Anybody. Anybody can get it. It's a faceless opponent. We're going to start over again from where we were. Faceless opponent. It, it's, it's, not, it's not even personal. It's just business. This is what we do. 
coming in junior college, as you said, from over at Hines Mississippi Community College, and and then going through camp and everything. Did you think about postseason play or anything like that as you were coming here to Jacksonville State and then getting ready for this season? Ooh, no, sir. During camp, it was about camp. <laughs> yeah, oh, if you ain't been through a Jacksonville State camp, you ain't been through camp. So I mean, but once we got focused on the game and got focused on the postseason, it became real to me. At first, it was it wasn't real to me. It was I was still in the blur. But as I got used to it and got normal to it, it became normal. And the next few weeks, hopefully, uh, roll keep rolling here. But nothing different as far as preparation and stuff. Treating it just like it's a, a regular season game, right? Regular season game. We're gonna do it all over again. Same process. And people, what people don't understand about Jacksonville State is those seniors. Those seniors, that, I mean, that, that that's such a key that people just keep overlooking. They never speak on it, never say anything too much about it. Oh, they got seniors. Everybody has seniors. You don't have Jacksonville State seniors. People who almost made it, they almost touched the goal last year and got denied. Somebody denied once should never be denied twice. So were your emotional senior day ceremonies and stuff going on before the Murray State game? I was emotional because these guys have grown on me. Like from, from where we come, camp, people who pat you on the back, build you up. When you fall down, they pick you up. These singers are probably a group of the singers that I've, I've never seen before in my life. Right now in high school, you got singers like this, it's basketball time. We're ready to go play basketball. It's too cold outside. I don't have a long sleeve shirt. I don't have this. We can't do that. I'm not ready for that. These boys are prepared. There's something mentally about them that grows on me that I just want to grasp and take hold to. Thanks, man. Good luck. Yes, sir.